don't I throw the disc further? That's a question I've been asked a lot. If you've ever watched me play, you know that I love to huck the disc. And so what we're going to teach today is we're going to show you how to huck a backhand. So we're going to change your grip a little bit. We're going to change how you move with your arm motion. And then we're going to change your lower body. We're going to add a little uh, extra rotation in your core. And that's really going to help you get that extra 20 yards that you're really looking for. Okay, and so for the grip, we're not going to change a whole lot. Kind of just going to make everything get a little closer. So if I'm holding the disc as if I was going to throw a normal backhand, my thumb is going to be right here on the ring, and then the bottom of the disc looks like that. Okay. Now if I was going to huck, all I'm going to do is the thumb is just going to move a little bit closer to my hand, my fingers are going to move a little bit closer in, and everything tightens up. Okay. Everything tightens up. So if I was going to throw maybe a 20 yard to 15 yard backhand, my hand is kind of loose, I'm not really squeezing the disc. If I was going to try to huck a 60, 70 yard backhand, everything gets super tight. I really try to get a lot, a lot of pressure on the disc. So to gain those extra 20 yards, a lot of it's going to come in the shoulders, okay? A big shoulder turn. If you play golf, you've heard that a lot, okay? When players can hit the ball really far, they have a really, really nice shoulder turn. And same with a uh, backhand, okay? When I come over, I'm going to have a really big shoulder turn, okay? Really big shoulder turn. And now with the disc, when it's back here, I really want the disc kind of pointing towards the ground. Okay, that's really going to allow the disc to come out, inside out, and then flatten out as it goes. Okay, we want the disc to go inside out, and then as it travels, it'll flatten out. Okay, and then the very last thing we're going to do is instead of having kind of a simplified motion for the backhand, we're going to exaggerate that motion into more of a pendulum motion for the huck. And that's really going to give you a lot of arm speed. And then with that wrist snap at the very end is what's going to give you that extra little five yards of distance you need. Okay, so big shoulder turn. Okay, a big pendulum mo motion here. A wrist snap at the very end. And then you're coming off the left side, okay? Coming off your left side. Boom. Okay, to add the last piece, we're going to talk about what happens with the lower body when we huck a backhand. And to start, I want you practicing getting your right foot stepping out to a 45 degree, okay? So you're not stepping directly forward, you're not stepping directly sideways, you're stepping out 45 degrees, okay? We also want to make this a comfortable step. We don't want to make a huge step, and we don't also want to make it a tiny step. A comfortable step. As I'm twisting and getting that big shoulder turn, I'm using my hips as well to turn and wind up, okay? So as I step out, I get that big shoulder turn. My hips are twisting as well. And then as I come through, I'm shifting all my weight off my back foot up and onto my front foot, snapping my wrist and coming through. Okay, I'll do it again. All right, so we got Alex about 50 yards out, and I'm going to show you a couple of backhands here. Thank you.